child's pose, bringing our feet together, hips out wide, and resting in child's pose for the first time here today. As you make it onto your back, notice in your body anything that might be feeling tight. And just let this feel nice for the first time today on this Friday morning. Let this get your body warmed up. Go ahead and take a nice exhale here, releasing all the air from your lungs. And then take a nice big inhale here. And as you inhale, feel everything fill up and extend your fingertips a little bit closer to the top of your mat. Sink your seat a little bit closer to your heels. Take another nice big open mouth exhale. And on your next inhale, start to think about something that's going to help push you through today's class. For me, today's 45 minutes, I want to focus on just being here and being present. If that's something that you two want to do, you can hold on to that thought. Or if there's something else from the week that you want to let go or that you want to focus on to motivate you, go ahead and do that right now. We'll exhale all the air from our lungs one more time. And then take a nice big inhale again. Go ahead and slowly walk your fingertips over to the right side of your mat. Stacking your left hand on top of your right. Feeling a nice side body stretch. Take a nice big inhale here. Feel that stretch a little bit deeper. And exhale. Go ahead and walk your fingertips back towards the center and then over to the left side of your mat. Stacking your right hand on top of your left. Again, take another inhale here. And a nice big exhale. And then carefully walk your hands back to the center of your mat. And bring yourself up to a tabletop position. Stacking your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees, pulling your belly button up into your spine. Take the time to roll out your wrists, maybe move your hips side to side. Again, taking that notice of anything that might be in sight. We go ahead and inhale our right fingertips up high. Keep our wrist circles. And then go ahead with three big arm circles towards the front. And three arm circles towards the back. Inhale your right fingertips up high. Exhale, thread the needle, guiding your arm underneath your left, resting the right side of your head onto your mat. An option here to place your left hand behind your right hip. If you moved your left hand, go ahead and plant it back down on your mat and inhale your right fingertips up high. One final stretch and bring it back down to tabletop. Inhale your left fingertips up high, rolling out your wrist. Three big arm circles to the front and then three big arm circles to the back. Inhale your left fingertips up high. Exhale, thread the needle underneath your right arm. Option to place your right hand behind your left hip. Plant your right hand back onto your mat. Inhale your left fingertips up high and back down to tabletop position. We'll cycle through a few cat and cow poses here. So first we inhale to cow, lift our gaze up toward the ceiling, drop our belly. Good. Exhale to cat, rounding our spine. Inhale back to cow. Exhale to cat. Cycle through this two more times at your own pace. And as you finish, 
come back down to tabletop position. Curl your toes under and send your hips up for down dog. Pedal out here. Inhale your right toes high. Exhale, right knee to nose. Carve out your spine, pull here. Nice cat by back and pulse. Inhale back to three, leg it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three, leg it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale back up to three, leg it up. And then step or float down to a low lunge stretch. Dropping your left knee and open up to your right side, bringing your right hand up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and plant your right hand on the inside of your right foot for a runner's lunge stretch. Option here to move your knees side to side, maybe come down onto your forearms. Whatever is comfortable, opening up your hip right here. Go ahead and plant both of your hands on either side of your foot. Send your hips back for a halfway split. Option to point and flex your toe, or if it's just comfortable, just to flex your foot right here. And really feel that stretch along the underside of your leg. Back down to that low lunge stretch, plant your hands. And send your foot back for high plank pose. And push your hips up for down dog. Inhale your left toe high. Exhale, knee to nose. And pulse. Inhale, toes high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, toes high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale your toes high one last time. Exhale down to a low lunge stretch. Dropping your right knee and open to your left side. Plant your left hand on the inside of your left foot. For that nice runner's lunge, option to come down onto your forearms. Move your foot side to side. Go ahead and plant your left hand back onto the outside of your foot. Send your hips back for a low lunge stretch. Back down to that low lunge stretch. Plant both of your hands. Lift your right knee off the mat and head back up to high plank pose. We start right here. Really make sure shoulders are stacked over wrists. Tap alternate hand to alternate shoulder. Keep everything really nice and tight here. Belly buttons pulled into your spine. Butts down low. Nice job, everyone. For four, three, hold in two, and one. Hold back here. Now we tap our feet out, it goes right and left, right and left. Gaze up towards the top of your mat, nice long straight body. It's four, three, two, one. Come on now to a forearm plank. Butt down nice and low. We move our hips to the right and to the left. It's right and left. Right and left. Again, keeping a nice long line. Really use those side obliques to move your hips. Four, three, two, one. Come on down to your knees. We'll 
Enter back into a tabletop position here. Extending our right arm out and our left leg out. We'll bring our elbow to knee in front, bringing that cat by the spine and extend out. Really carving up your spine. It's four. Three. Two. And one. Plant your right hand back down. Now extend your left hand out and your right leg. Same thing. Carving out your spine, bringing elbow to knee. Nice job. It's four, three, two, and one. Back down to tabletop pose. Curl your toes under. Cover your knees just about an inch here. We step our feet back to high plank pose. Then we bring them back to that bare fold, just hovering about an inch off the mat. Nice and controlled. Keep going. It's four, three, two, and one. High plank pose, hold here. Now we plant our left hand, open up to our right side plank, hips up nice and high. Option to stack our feet, you can come down onto your bottom knee, but we're keeping our hips up nice and high. We pulse. Also an option to come down on your forearm. For four, three, two, one. Back to high plank pose. Opening it, opening up to the left side. Same options here, coming down onto the knee. Pulse. For four.
isometric hold with both weights. It's four, three, two, one. Nice job. Bring our weights so that our palms are facing uh, the top or quads. Option here to alternate or to bring both weights. We'll do a front raise. We bring our weights up so that they are at shoulder height and then back down. So option to do one at a time or both. Keep your core nice and engaged. Four, three, two, one. Bring your weights over to your side for some lateral side raises. Same thing. We bring it out to the side this time. Again, option to do one at a time. Your shoulders might be a little bit fired up already from being in plank. Nice and controlled as you bring your weight back down to your side. It's four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Coming now. Hinge at your hips. Belly button's pulled in nice and tight into your spine. The heads of our weights are together. We open up for flies, bringing our elbows back and then around. I used this last week, but imagine like you're hugging a tree. So you're coming around nice and wide. Elbows come back and you bring it around like a nice big hug around the trunk of a tree. It's four, three, two, one more time. Stay with our hinge, our hips hinge, bringing the weights down in front for a row. So our weights, we pull them as if we're putting them into our pockets. Elbows going straight back. Make sure your belly button is pulled in nice and tight into your spine, chest is lifted. We hold in four, three, two, one. So hold up at the top. We send our weights back for tricep kickbacks. So our weights go straight back, we straighten our arms. Elbows stay in that position. Nice job. We hold in four, three, two, one. Bring your weights back and pulse. Nice job. Singles in four, three, two, one. We go back to rows in four, three, two, one. So back to the rows. Pulling the weights as if we're putting them into our pack. If at any time you need to just stand, shake it out, and get back into position, go ahead and feel free to do that. We put it together in four, Three, two, and one. So we row, tricep kick back, back down. Row, kick back. It's 
four, three, two, and one. Stay in this position. Back to those flies one last time. Open up, bring our elbows nice and wide. Again, you can shake out. Come back down to make sure you're hinged at your hips. Nice job, Friday. It's four, three, two, and one. Come all the way back up to standing. I know we were hinged for a while. Coming back up for some hammer curls so our palms stay facing each other. We bring our weights up and down. Nice job. Keep going as the song changes. We hold in four, three, two, and one. Hold at 90 here. Again, keeping that space between our elbow and our side body. We lift an inch, lower an inch. Lift an inch and lower an inch. Back to a hold in four, three, two, and one. Let's hold here. Now we're bringing our elbows out to shoulder height and back down. We call these chicken wings. Pull your elbows in. Nice job. It's four, three, hammer curls in two, and one. Back down, all the way up for hammer curls. Start to get our legs warmed up and ready to go. So as you raise your weights, nice little calf raise. Slow and control with your feet and your weights. Awesome job. It's four, three, two, one. Come on down, shake out. You can drop your weights. And if you have that pillow nearby, you'll go ahead and grab that. It's going to go in between your thighs. You'll bring your pillow, kind of simulating our Pilates ball. Weight is in our heels, and we squat and raise, squeezing everything. So squeeze that pillow in between your legs, nice and tight, but then squeezing everything up at the top. Nice job. We hold in four, three, two, one. Hold low, weight still in our heels, belly buttons pulled into our spine, chest is up and open. Just lower an inch, lift an inch, lower and lift. Staying really nice and low here. Nice job. Squeeze your pillow nice and tight. Back to singles in four, three, two, and one. So we'll start low and then lift. Hold low in four. Three, two, and one. Hold low. This time, squeezing our knees together. Squeeze. 
squeeze that pillow nice and tight. Nice job. Nice big inhale here. Exhale, sink a little bit lower. For four, three, two, one. Stand on up, keep your pillow with you. Starting off for some side lunges, we'll keep the pillow in our hands. We step to the right, and as we step to the right, we push the pillow out and come back. Stand, push the pillow out. As you do your side lunge, you're sending your hips back straight. You're not curving your body or anything. You're sending your glutes straight back behind you. Weight is again in your heels. Knee is stacked over your ankle. Nice job. For four, three, switch sides in two, and one. Nice job. We step to the left, still sending that pillow out right in front of us. Nice and slow and controlled. You can go at your own pace here. We hold low in four, three, two, and one. Step to the left, send your feet back out, and pulse. Keep that pillow nice and straight in front of you. Switch sides in four. Three, two, one. Come on up. Back to the right, pillows out in front of us, and we pulse. For four, three, two, one. Nice job. Give your legs just a little bit of a shake. Uh, we'll keep the pillow with us again. Just some extra movements for our arms. We're doing some curtsy lunges now. So we'll start with the right foot going back. We bring our right foot behind our left. As we go down, we'll push the ball out and come back up to standing. Nice job. Hold low in four, three, two, and one. Hold low. Push your hand into that pillow, keeping it up nice and straight. We'll engage our upper body here as well. For four, three, two, one. Back up to standing. This time our left leg goes back. So curtsy lunge, the ball goes out in front of us as we lunge down, and then it comes back. Nice job. We hold in four, three, two, one. Hold low. Same thing. Squeeze the ball really nice and tight and pulse your legs. Straight up and down with that pulse. It's four, three, Two, one. Come on up, stand up. Keep your pillow with you for one. Final 
keeping the pillow with us for just a little bit. Now, we're going to bring the pillow to our right side body, bringing it right um, just below our hip and holding. If at any point you want to ditch the pillow, sub it out for a weight, that's totally fine. Slight bend in our left standing knee. We point our right foot out. We lift and lower. Try and keep a nice straight line with your left side body. Doesn't have to be a very large movement. Nice job. It's four, three, two, one. Stand back up, bring the pillow over to your left side now. Again, slight bend in your right standing knee. Point your left toe. Lift and lower.
squeeze in your left glute as you bring your foot up to the top. Your back stays straight. Don't arch your lower back. For four, three, two, one. Swing your legs around, bringing your pillow back in. Put your pillow in between your inner thighs. Come down laying on your mat uh, for some glute bridges. Closer your heels are, the more intense it will be. So be lift and lower. Squeeze the pillow nice and tight. Squeeze everything up at the top. For four, three, hold in two, and one. Hold up at the top. Squeeze your pillow in, but keep squeezing your glutes to keep your hips up high. Back to singles in four, three, two, one. Lower and lift. Try and cover your seat over the mat as you bring it down. Keep squeezing your pillow in nice and tight. For four. Three, hold in two and one. Hold up at the top one more time. Step your feet in just a little bit closer to your seat. Come up off your heels and squeeze your pillow. You got it, Friday. Last little push right here. We've got one more set of singles in four, three, two, one. Keep your heels lifted, lower and left. Four, three, two, and one. Release everything down. You can set your pillow to the side. Pull your left leg down on your mat. Pull your left knee into your left, or your right knee, excuse me, into your right side body. Take a nice big inhale here. Exhale, gently dive your right knee over to your left side. Bring your arms out to a T and gaze over your right shoulder. Take another inhale here and exhale. Try to move your knee just a little bit further. Gently guide your right knee back up, squeezing it into your right side body. And then let your right leg extend out long and bring your left knee into your left side body. Take a nice big inhale here. And exhale, gently guide your left knee over to your right side. Arms up to a T and gaze over your left shoulder. Take a nice big inhale here. And exhale, sink a little bit deeper into the stretch. Gently guide your left knee. Back up, pulling your left knee into your left side body. 
Gently release your left knee down. So put your left foot onto the mat and bring your right foot over your left thigh for a figure four stretch. If this feels nice, you can stay here or you can pull your left thigh up towards your chest. Option here too is to straighten your left leg and flex that foot. Go ahead and release your right foot. Plant your right foot onto the mat and switch sides. We're bringing your left foot over our right thigh. Pull your right thigh in towards your chest. Extend your right leg long. Option to flex your foot for a stretch right behind your right leg. And then carefully come out of that. Bring both knees into your chest. Pulling nice and tight, bringing your forehead up to your thighs. Take a nice big inhale here, but you feel everything fill up nice and tight. And exhale, release for final Shavasana, letting everything hang nice and heavy. If you're ready to begin this beautiful Friday, start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, move your head from side to side, open and close your jaw, and take a nice long body stretch as if you're waking up for the first time this morning. Turn onto either side and come up to a seated position on your mat, blinking your eyes closed. Bring your hands to heart center, always remembering to have peace and positivity in your heart. Bring your hands to your lips to remember to have peace and positivity in your words. And bring your hands to third eye center, the space between your brows, always remembering to have peace and positivity in your words and your thoughts about yourself and others. We close our practice bowing forward 